How to fix pre-auth play integrity verification failed. Error on chat GPT. Hey everyone. In this video tutorial, we're showing you how to fix the error message. Pre-auth play integrity verification failed on the chat GPT app step by step. It's super simple. This issue is common, especially when trying to log into chat GPT. So let's get started. The first thing we'll do is reset both the chat GPT app and the Google Play Store by clearing their data and cache. Open your device settings and go to Apps. Scroll down and tap on Apps or Applications. Then Manage Apps. Find ChatGPT app in the list, or just use the search bar to locate it quickly. Tap on it to open the app settings. Once you've selected the ChatGPT app, tap for Stop. Now head over to the storage. In this section, you'll find the option to clear data. First, tap Clear Cache, then tap Clear Data. This will reset the ChatGPT's temporary files and settings. Don't worry, your account won't be deleted. Now go back and repeat the same process for the Google Play Store. Search for Google Play Store in the apps list, or just use the search bar to locate it quickly. Tap on it to open the app settings. Tap for stop. Then head over to the storage, clear both cache and data. Now go back and try opening chat GPT again. If that fixes the error, great. If not, let's move on to the next step. Now we'll remove the app completely and reinstall it fresh. First, long press the chat GPT icon and tap app info. Tap uninstall and confirm to completely remove it from your device. Now let's clear the Play Store's cache and data. Open your settings, then go to apps or applications. Then manage apps. Search for Google Play Store and tap it to open the app settings. Now head over to the storage, tap clear cache, then tap clear data. Once done, go back to the Play Store and reinstall the ChatGPT app from there. Open the Google Play Store, search for ChatGPT, and download the latest version. Once it's installed, open the app and check if the issue is resolved. After completing the steps above, go ahead and restart your phone. This refreshes system services and can help finalize the fix.